Good day, gentlemen, and welcome back. I've got a very important and uh, sobering subject to talk with you today. And the title uh, of this video is also referring to what this video is going to be about, and that is the dating coaches are misleading you. Believe me, they are. Listen to the, the sum total of just about all of them. The dating coaches uh, I am referring to are the ones that are talking to men out there. Mostly men who have been hurt in relationships, men who, who are coming out of being uh, dumped, men who are trying to get their ex-girlfriend back, or whatever. And not all of them, but most certainly most of them are misleading you. If you pay attention, gentlemen, and believe me, I am the messenger here. I don't hate anyone. I don't love anyone. I'm just saying it like it is. If you listen to the gist, the read between the lines, if you listen, look at the bottom line of, of the premises that they're all making, is that these women who treated you so bad, these evil women, are now finally getting their, getting their justification. They're now getting uh, justice. You know, they they refused you when you were younger. They uh, they wouldn't give you the time of day and went with the jocks and the good-looking guys and the rich guys. And, uh, and and now that they're older and that nobody wants them, they're coming back to you. They're misleading you because they're letting you believe that now that there's an awakening, that they're going to change. That now that there's been a... that this is all being brought into the open via mass media, that it's going that they're going to change their attitude and that is an absolute fool's game when the lions uh, start stop chasing gazelles in the african sahara that's when they're change when the nature of human being changes that's when the women are going to change and men this is in their dna from the cave days as it is in our dna to be attracted to thin, young, attractive women. And no amount of lecturing by women who are, uh, let's say, overweight with a bad complexion and, and a little older, if they come and lecture us for the next 200 years, that, hey, you should not leave us, uh, you should not pass us by and go to younger, thinner, more attractive women. How much effect is that going to have on you? Well, the same effect that this is going to have on women, you know, from now until the end of time, these women are going to be attracted to men that are more promising to them. Men that are uh, potential earners, men that are, can provide them with the better quality genes for their offsprings, and men that can take, have the means to take care of them. And you can't blame them for that. If you, your sister met a man, you want him to fall into that category, and you don't want him to be a loser who plays computer games and, and uh, stays home all day long. My point is, listen to the words of the wise. I'm going to again bring up a line from Musashi, the great Japanese warrior who wrote a book 400 years ago, The Five Rings. And his first rule is, accept everything exactly as it is. Accept it that this is the nature of women and nothing you or any coach or anybody says or, or does is going to change that. They are always going to be gravitating towards the type of men that are most promising, that have the potential to earn money and uh, naturally are tall and, and good looking and healthy so they can have uh, healthy offsprings. All this uh, stuff about riding the CC and uh, rejecting the nice guys and, and, and now they've come to their senses now that they're older, whatever, all of that might be true. But what is even more true is that nothing, not a thing is going to change. If you think I'm misleading you, then stop this video and never look at it again. But you'd be hating the messenger and you'd be closing your eyes and, and putting your head in the sand like that animal. That, that hides his head in the sand and thinks he cannot be seen by its uh, uh, enemy. So don't be misled by these things. Now, what is the solution? What is What are we to do? The solution is, to me, the best thing that can come out of the whole um, red pill awakening is that be aware. Be aware of why she's there. Be aware of why that woman is with you. And no matter how good-looking and successful and wealthy you are, always know 
that she is with you because of the potential, because of the offer on the table. She doesn't care who's bringing it. She is only there for her own needs and wants and nothing is going to ever change that. You are nothing more, we, us, than a vehicle for the woman that carries her to her desire, needs and wants. Nothing is going to change that. No amount of coach telling you, ah, we got him, we got him. Finally, we're getting back at them. They, they left us nice guys, short guys, uh, fat guys, uh, passed us by, and now we're getting even with them. All of that is a bunch of BS. Nothing's going to change. The same attitude, the same behavior is going to continue until eternity. The best you can do is be aware of it. When a woman is with you, know that she is only with you because she sees you as potential, having the potential to get her to where she wants to go. Uh, you know, a woman that chooses you, uh, she chooses you based on her own ambitions and her own uh, her own self-image. So if she has a very, very high self-image, she's going to go for the very top. If she has a lower self-image, she's going to go on lower and lower. Just know that when a woman is with you, just know that she is with you because she thinks that is the very best she can do. And the moment that she feels she can do better. Have you ever been with a woman who suddenly uh, was always fat and she lost weight and now she looks good and she dumps you in a New York minute? That's because her level of self-image has been raised and she no longer sees you as the best she can do. These are harsh words, gentlemen, but the truth shall set you free. Instead of deluding yourself into this... Uh, BS that women are going to change and now it's going to be your turn. No, it's never going to be your turn. You know, make yourself worthy of being with and you'll automatically attract the best. I tell you like it is, gentlemen. I have nothing to gain and nothing to lose. I'm just spreading the good word. I'll leave you with this. When a woman is with you, it is only for one reason. She thinks that you're the best she can do. She thinks you're the one who she best deserves to take her to where she wants to go. And the moment she no longer believes that, she'll be gone. There is no loyalty. Women have zero loyalty to you or to anyone else. Their loyalty is to their own needs and wants. And it'll always be this way. No dating coach. Don't let any dating coach pull the wool over your eyes or tell you anything else. Seymour signing out. God bless. Until next time.